Welcome back for another one. Today we're doing a quick video on software version 2020.36.3.1, which we just got on the Model 3. So we did have to wait an extra week, actually almost a week and a half, before we got the update on the Model 3 versus the Model Y. And this version 2020.36.3.1 on the Model 3, I expect is very similar to that which is on the Model Y. But I did want to do a quick test to see how long it took to calibrate the cameras so that it could actually see the speed limit signs. That was a question I got and I, I wasn't sure how long it took on the Model Y. So I definitely wanted to check that out and see uh, how many miles or maybe minutes it takes for the cameras to calibrate and start picking up those speed limit signs. Hopefully we'll get a good test of that. As well as I wanted to see if we could find any inactive school zone signs, which I had a question about previously what showed up on the display when there was an inactive school zone speed limit sign, which uh, might be towards the side of the street. So we have seen a few that have been above the street, but I want to try to find one that's actually on the side of the street that has lights on it, possibly so that hopefully we can see when it's inactive, whether it picks up the speed limit that's inside on that speed limit sign. We're really working hard on trying to get up to a thousand subscribers so I could really use your help. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps others find this content and helps the channel grow. Also, I wanted to check out a new camera setup today. So please let me know what you think about this camera setup in the comments below. So again, we still have the green traffic light chime and speed assist improvements. It doesn't make any mention of there any calibration needed for it to work, but we knew from the Model Y that it did take some time to calibrate, so that's what we're going to check today. And, of course, we still have the cruise set speed improvements where you can just tap on the speed in the cluster. So that's kind of nice. Um, I have used that a couple times, actually, especially now that we use autopilot a little bit more on the side street because it can go five over and because it has the speed limit signs that actually reads. So we're gonna go ahead and reset the trip here. And we'll keep track of how many miles it takes before the first speed limit sign shows up. Hopefully I will notice when that first one shows up. I will be trying to look out for it. And also we'll keep track of the time, 8.57, and here we go. Of course, everything's better on Mars. Still stop signs on Mars, though. And just as before, shows up as 45 miles per hour in the neighborhood. It is a 25 mile per hour zone, but not unexpected. All right, so it already knows this street is 40 miles per hour, but no speed limit sign shows up. So it hasn't calibrated yet. That is just the first one, only a mile and four minutes. Not sure if it's tied to time or miles. Maybe a combination of the both. 40 miles per hour. Doesn't show up. Ooh, I think the sun kind of tricked the camera there. The sun is shining directly at us this morning. Another speed limit sign, nothing. Two miles. All right, so here is a school zone sign. It says it's 25, and but this one is above, and it just shows up as a light. It's not active. It's not exactly the type of sign that we're looking for. Hoping to find one that's on the side of the street. Green light chime, I guess I didn't turn that on. I think that the green traffic light chime shows up immediately. Here we are over six miles and that speed limit sign still does not show up. This school zone sign is again up there to the right. So here it is. We are over 10 miles just now and still have not gotten any speed limit signs showing up. I might go ahead and park the car and start another drive to see if it just needs to be kind of reset for the next drive. I'm not sure. Also, it turns out none of these 
County schools have the speed limit sign for the school zone on the side of the street at the normal position for a speed limit sign. So we're going to actually have to go to a different county uh, to see if they show up like that. Maybe it's just a county thing or maybe it's just that one school. Regardless, we're going to have to find one that looks like that so we can see when it's inactive, whether it picks up the speed limit sign in the middle. My guess is no, it will not pick up that speed limit sign only because the speed limit sign in the neighborhood that we had earlier where it said 25, it said speed humps ahead above it and it seemed to disregard that I think because it couldn't determine what the condition was for the speed limit even though really it's not a condition in that case but there's another sign associated with that speed limit and I think it ignored it because of that it didn't know if that was actually the speed limit that it should be all the time or not but we'll see if we can find a speed limit here uh, for a school zone that's inactive and hopefully we're going to actually start seeing the speed limit signs because here it is over 11 miles still haven't gotten the speed limit signs to show up all right so it's been over 13 miles now no speed limit sign has shown up and let's see 24 minutes i'm going to go ahead and stop park the car and see if a new drive it will reset and start seeing those speed limit signs all right Park it here. Get out real quick. We'll start again at 13.5 miles and see if we get any speed limit signs to show up now. 40 mile per hour speed limit sign. Does it see it? No, it does not. Without any calibration, Speed limit signs for the school zone still show up as just lights. 15 miles and 30 minutes, still no speed limit sign. Maybe we need to get out on the interstate and come back, and maybe that'll get it. Here we are, over 18 miles, still no speed limit signs have shown up on the display. We're gonna get on the interstate here give it a few miles on the interstate and see if that makes it show up. First speed limit sign here on the interstate, 70 miles per hour and nothing. So we did about five miles on the interstate. We're going to do another couple miles on the interstate and we'll see what happens. Over 25 miles. It's getting close to an hour now. Still no speed limit signs have shown up. About to give up. Certainly seems like a lot of calibration to me. Over 27 miles and still no speed limit signs showing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a quick reboot of the car. In order to do that, you got to hold down these two buttons here. And I'll go ahead and do a hard reset with the brake applied at the same time. And we'll see if it shows up after that. Is it hold it until the T logo, the Tesla logo, shows back up on the screen here? Usually about 20, 30 seconds. Seems like forever though. There it is. All right, so we just did the reboot there after 27 miles. Let's hope that now the speed limit signs show up. First sign after the reboot does not show up. So nothing doing after 28 miles and a reboot and parking and stopping the car, everything. One last thing I'm going to try here is the camera calibration to see if that will get this working. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to do the clear calibration because that's going to be over 100 miles. So I don't know what to do, I guess. Only other thing I can do is maybe walk away from the car parked, let it lock and all that. And then come back trying to get this calibrated so that we can see the school zone speed limit signs see how they show up and here it is first sign 45 miles per hour it shows up so the speed limit signs are now showing up so 30 miles i think it has to do with actually stopping and locking the car 
it definitely has to you have to go for a drive and then you have to probably let your car stop completely so lock it walk away when you come back hopefully it'll be there we did do a mixture of about 10 miles of interstate as well as over 20 miles of side streets lots of speed limit signs and over an hour so i'm not sure how much of that actually contributes to the calibration with the school zone we're going to see how the speed limit sign shows up when it is not active but it does have the lights around it and it's on the side of the street like a normal speed limit sign so it's 45 miles per hour here oh man all right it did not show up with the speed limit sign so it showed up just like it did before it showed up as lights but in this case they were just not active really wish autopilot had slowed down for that curve i would have stayed in autopilot all right so there's another school zone around this corner we're gonna check it out as well i'm pretty sure it has a similar light that we can check again on that previous one i think that it started to show a speed limit sign just for a moment and then it went away so here's another one 30 miles per hour yep just a blip of a speed limit sign and then it goes away it's 30 miles per hour on that sign but it ignores that because it has the lights around it so we finally got it thankfully so i honestly did not think that we were going to ever get the car calibrated that took forever i think what really did it was the second time when i stopped the car and parked it i got out i locked the car walked away let it sit there for a few seconds and then got back in it so i really think that that was what finally did it so my recommendation would be if you want to get your car calibrated on 2020.36 fast, I would recommend doing a short drive, maybe a couple short drives, and making sure that you stop the car completely, walk away, and then come back later. That is probably your best bet. I'm not certain now how many miles or how much time it actually takes for it to calibrate. Uh, I hope it doesn't actually take 30. I'm sure it didn't take 30 the last time because I'm pretty sure we only did about 15 miles last time and we did get an answer on the speed limit signs that are inactive for school zones if it is in the same position as a normal speed limit sign and has the lights around it but are not active it does not pick up that speed limit sign so i think that tesla is currently just ignoring any speed limit sign that has some sort of sign around it that may indicate that it's a conditional speed limit sign. So they're definitely gonna have to take that into consideration when they uh, are going to be going to full self-driving because obviously it's gonna matter if it's activated or not. But for now, Tesla's just getting the speed limit signs that are just plain speed limit signs and in the normal area, at least in the US or around me, those are the only ones that it's picking up. Don't forget to hit that like button if you liked this video and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.